My name is Alon Wagilner. I'm an associate professor of neurosurgery and director of the Center for Neuromodulation at NYU Langone Medical Center. Primary conditions that I treat really fall into two groups. One is the treatment of movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease, tremors, dystonia, and Tourette's syndrome. And the other major group of patients we treat are the patients with severe chronic pain. When I was recruited to return to NYU Langone, I really saw at this institution the combination of two major factors. Number one, the excellence in clinical care. And no matter what you speak about academia and research and so on, clinical care is always what matters. That's the most important thing. We are physicians, we are taking care of patients, and we have to make sure that um, that takes precedence, number one. And number two, while we're doing that, we really need to think about the future as well. What can we do for the patients? What can we offer them? And what are the opportunities we have to offer them the latest and greatest current and future treatments? So one of our unique treatments is something called deep brain stimulation. Deep brain stimulation, or DBS, involves the placement of electrodes, permanent electrodes, into the brains of patients who have suffer from a number of different conditions. They are completely placed inside the body and they're connected to pacemaker devices in their chest which are very similar to a heart pacemaker and it's a permanent implant and it can really change the lives of patients with Parkinson's disease, other movement disorders, particularly Tourette's syndrome. Now while DBS is done at a number of medical centers throughout the country and in the area, we have a unique a patient population in terms of we are the most experienced in the treatment of Tourette's syndrome. We've also done it for other conditions like psychiatric disorders such as obsessive compulsive disorder and depression which is not routinely done at, another, at other institutions. Most of the surgeries that we do that I personally do are what I would call quality of life surgeries. So if you want to contrast different types of brain surgeries, these patients don't have tumors, they don't have necessarily terminal diseases, but on the other hand, their quality of life is severely diminished by their conditions. So the most important thing, of course, of course, is to make sure that what we're doing makes their life better, period. You don't want to do it if there's a high risk of making them worse. And you want to make sure, again, these are, these are primarily elective surgeries, unlike other types of surgeries. The general treatment philosophy is to match up appropriately the expectations of the patient with what we can provide and to make sure that the chances that we can help the patient are a lot, lot higher than the chances that will make their life worse.